So we're gonna do a roast on the SR500, which is this guy here. And essentially it's just a glorified hot air popcorn machine. Its components are, are very basic. It's just a heat element at the bottom and it draws in uh, air from the outside surroundings and heats the air, pushes it up through the glass chamber here and roast the beans. And essentially what you're trying to do is take the internal green bean temperature up to the point where the sugar is caramelized. And that's all that roasting is. The various components are the top lid, which just collects the chaff. Then, then also the chamber. And that's the base. So this is the heat element, the chamber, the top lid. That's all you need aside from green beans. So we're going to take a look at some of the functions on the base here. There are a few things that you might not use, but I'll go through them all with you. So the first thing is the power button. This is, it says run cool, but essentially it just turns the roaster on and then switches it to cool. Uh, then over here you have the temperature. So you've got a setting of high, medium, low, and cool. We always keep it on high. That's just how we uh, do it at our shop. And then uh, the fan speed over here allows you to adjust how much air is basically blowing through the chamber. So we like to start with everything on high and kind of keep it that way unless you need to change the settings. The other thing to be aware of would be the timer. The timer will start at a specific time when you turn it on and you can add time by either pushing this up and down button or just resetting the timer by turning it off and on. So you can see that as I press on this button, you can add or take away time that way. And the main thing about the time is that you just don't want to run out of time before your roast is finished. So you're just watching the timer, not for how much is left, but just to make sure it doesn't get down to zero before you're done. So now we're gonna go into the roast. I'm gonna take the top lid off and gonna grab some green beans, open them up and turn the roaster on. So to turn it on, I'm just going to very simply hit the power button or the run cool button what it says there and I like to check to see that everything is working properly the I always start with the temperature setting on high and the fan speed on high as well make sure it's working You're good to go and then start pouring in your beans so I'm just going to pour in just about up until this silver line here call it kind of like the magic line in that if you fill above the line you're kind of at a risk of overflowing the chamber because the beans will expand so I would say use this as a guideline and only fill to the line or just underneath the line. Um, and you'll notice how I'm not immediately replacing the top lid here. I want to make sure that the green beans inside are rotating. And so if I see any that are kind of sticking to the bottom, I'm just going to grab the chamber and just give it a little shake. This step is really, really important because if, you're, if your beans aren't rotating, they're going to burn at the bottom. Uh, you have to remember that the heat is coming from here just blowing the outside air up. And so if your beans are sticking at the bottom, you're risking a burn. So these ones are rotating very quickly, so quickly that they're just starting to blow chaff at me now. So I'm going to just replace the lid. But just to reiterate, if you're finding that they're not moving in the beginning, don't be afraid to just leave the lid off and give the, the uh, pick the chamber up and just give it a shake. As the beans are roasting, they are expanding and they're losing weight. So you'll only need to give it a couple shakes if it's a heavy bean just to get it going and then you're good. Once you're confident that everything is, uh, is good, you just put the lid back on and then you're ready to roast. So the fan speed is on high, the temperature is on high, and my timer is at 4.2. So all I need to make sure of is that I don't run out of time before the roast is finished. So taking a look at how the roast is going, you can see the rotation is going really, really well. Different green beans will roast at different speeds and will be lighter or heavier depending on the density of the green bean itself. So at this point, I actually want to just take the fan speed a little bit down because I don't want the beans to be flying up everywhere. The thermal transfer when the beans are lower and still moving and rotating is a little bit better. So I'm just turning it down. You can see that the beans are already starting to change color. Uh, it happens very, very quick. A roast should only take between five and seven minutes. Uh, and it yield, this roaster will yield about a quarter pound of roasted in five to seven. So I'm just paying attention to how quickly it's roasting. Don't really want to walk away from the roaster since it only takes five to seven minutes. You kind of want to keep an eye on it, again, because every bean is really different. What I'm anticipating uh, in the first bit is first crack, and I think it's gonna happen very soon. 
first crack is essentially just telling me that the beans are starting to roast and it's the it, it, it is actually the chaff the outer skin that you see here coming off of the bean and getting it's getting collected in here so that'll really start rapidly happening at happening at first crack and the first crack is something you can hear so it's an indicator that the coffee is just starting to roast here we go there it is that was the one first very loud pop that I heard. It's kind of like popcorn popping. So if you've ever made a Jiffy Pop on the stove, it's very similar to that sound. Intermittent loud cracks. And so while I'm watching it, I'm also watching my timer. I'm always watching the timer because I just don't want to run out of time or the beans will cool and lose, lose the temperature momentum that they need to fully roast. So I see the timer is at 2.7 right now. I'm just going to reset it just to you know, save myself and not have to think about it. At this point, we're well into first crack and you can see the, the bean color changing. It looks brown now, it's no longer this green color. So it's, it's fully onto its roast. And I'll know when it's um, more developed when it enters second crack. So between first crack and second crack, there's typically a bit of a, a pause. And then, uh, and then at second crack, you know the, the coffee's fully developed. So I believe now we're at the stage where there's a pause between first crack and second crack. The motor is quite loud, so sometimes it's hard to hear second crack, but you don't really need to worry about that. Um, if you can't hear second crack or you're worried that you can't hear it, you can look at the color of the beans and also um, you can smell the aroma of the roasting. So it'll start to take on a very particular smell. It's really nice, like popcorn. It's got a kind of a different smell than fresh ground coffee, um, but it's lovely. And when you start to smell that, you know you're kind of entering into the development of the, of the roast. Um, I'm also looking for beans that are yellow or golden. You don't want to take or stop the roast or take the roast out early um, because golden beans will taste sour. It'll be a green bean that's not fully developed and that'll kind of ruin your overall cup. So if you're worried about not hearing the second crack, just make sure you keep the beans in until they're a really nice color. So essentially all you're doing in the roasting is cooking the beans and when they get to that beautiful caramel brown or darker, if that's what you like, then you know you can cool the beans. Um, I'll point out that on this particular roast, the um, beans are moving quite quickly again. So I'm adjusting the fan speed to just go a little bit down. So again, it brings the beans in closer together. You also notice that I didn't play with the temperature setting at all. You can, and I mean, you're welcome to fully explore it, but I just, we just find here that you don't need to. So rather than play with it, we just leave it on for simplicity. We just leave it on high and just kind of play with the fan speed if needed. And I'm gonna turn the fan speed down a little more just to calm the beans down so you can get a good, good uh, view of how they're developing. At this point, I'm anticipating that second crack is just maybe 30 seconds away, maybe a minute max. There's a couple of lighter beans. I'll turn it down even more for the demo. A couple of beans that I'm not quite happy with the color of. So even if I wanted a light roast, I would, I'll still leave it for a bit longer. Okay. So we're getting very close to second. Oh, I think I just heard a little bit of it. Um, and the reason that you might not hear it in the beginning is because it's quite a bit quieter than first crack. So you have to really pay attention. The popping sounds are not so loud and uh, they're a little more subdued. So I hear it starting and at this point, at second crack, this is fully developed coffee and all the sugars are caramelizing. That's what second crack is. And this is a light roast. If I wanted to have a medium roast, it's just leaving it in for longer. So at this point, I could hit cool and stop it. I'm gonna take it to the medium roast just to show you the, um, what the indicators are. When you start to see the sheen come on the beans, you're starting to enter a medium. 
when you see oil break the surface and the beans actually start to look a little bit wet, maybe just even two or three of them, then you're really at a medium. And at this point I can see that we're real close. They're a little shiny. We're about to break oil. So I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cool. When you're happy with your roast degree, hit cool. It's as simple as that. The cool cycle will run for about two minutes. And at this point, there's no more heat, so you don't have to worry about the roast um, changing, the roast degree changing. Um, and why you do it, do switch it to cool and allow the beans to cool is because if you didn't cool the beans, they would continue to roast inside and then the degree would change. So that immediate cool at the moment that you're happy with the roast degree is really important and it'll just ensure that, you're, uh, that you still maintain that roast degree. I turned the fan speed up to high again just to get them cooling even faster. All right, so once the beans have stopped and the machine turns off, your beans will be cool. Uh, just be careful because the top lid will still be quite hot. Um, either grab it with your hands if you're used to it or grab a cloth so that you don't burn your hands. Um, take it off or let it cool longer. That's another option. Um, you grab your glass chamber, pour your beans out, and there you have it. So that is basically a perfect roast, um, just on par with a commercial roast, and uh, it only takes about five minutes. Perfect yeah. beans. And I would say that this roast is, well, it's a medium. I would say on a scale of one to 10, it would be about a six. And no, it doesn't have a lot of oil, but that sheen to the beans tells you that we're in a medium. So I would say, yeah, a five, six. It's a good roast.